Good morning, America. I just ran out the window. I just ran, I'm in my robe. Look at the freaking sky. Oh my God. Wow, it's another one of those days. I just grabbed my robe and ran, but I just had to show you that. Oh my God. It's so pretty. Hey, welcome to a weekly vlog. <laughs> welcome to a weekly vlog. Life is so precious and beautiful. And I saw this out my window and I ran. So I just wanted to show you. With the tree too, do you see that? Be so incredibly for real. I should make a thing like a robe, the robe dash. And this was a robe dash morning. So good fucking morning to that, you know, period. We're gonna ignore what I look like right now, y'all. You are gonna give some bullshit excuse why you cannot walk. It is 30 degrees. I have gloves on actually, but I'm just in my dad's like big penguin suit. Just getting some morning steps in. It's freezing, but honestly, something about really, really cold air. I look psychotic. I Okay, you know what's actually so weird? I'm still like not, I haven't really spoken much today. This is my first words into the 24 hour period. Hey, is I'm walking, guys. And as I'm walking, there are children. Is this focused? I hope it's focused. And there are kiddos waiting for the bus stop. I have ha never had such a full circle like, oh, maybe I'm not actually 13 anymore. Cause they were like little girlies and they were waiting for the bus stop. And I was like, I am, I, they're looking at me and thinking like, oh, look, that's an adult lady like on her morning walk. Okay, might as well have a fucking cane and a walker. And like, what the hell? I feel like a grandma. So bizarre. But anyways, I'm just getting some steps in. I'm, I'm not getting like all of them. I've been listening to the, believe it or not, I have my headphones on under, under my 10,000 layers. But I've been listening to the Huberman Lab podcast in the mornings. Something about educational content really, really early, it helps me ease into my day because I feel like I'm actively working towards a goal because I'm learning, you know? Instead of listening to music or something where I'm, yeah, you're listening to music, but you're constantly thinking about your memories or what you have to do or what you're stressed out about or whatever. With the educational content, it's like I'm focused solely on that. It's almost like meditation in a way where you're focusing on your breath, but you're focusing on the podcast, like having something to suit, like truly focus on because with music that's hard for me because yeah you can focus on the lyrics but that's not you get it like that's not the same thing so i'm listening to some of that honestly he carried me through my drive yesterday i'll talk about that later <laughs> i don't feel like it right now my trip was a fucking whirlwind okay but i had like an eight hour car drive and i like only listened to like two or three of his episodes and i was there i mean was the drive low-key miserable a little bit but at least i was learning okay Anyways, I really hope that I got this. Uh, if y'all watched my last video, I fucking dropped my camera and it like hasn't been focusing. So I'm hoping that it's focused enough. But hot girl walk, except I'm shaking, freezing cold. Also look at my nails. These are still my nails, guys. I grew that. Look at that. Isn't that long? Go back home, it's like eight o'clock right now. I'm gonna get lift in the morning because I have therapy at 1.30. Monday and Tuesdays are like kind of busy in terms of clients, which is so fun and exciting. So I'm just trying to really stay organized and now that I'm back from my trip, I feel like I have to fucking lock in. How are you doing? Comment right now, I'm waiting. Good? Good. Getting ready for the gym. I need to shave my armpits, so we are going to do that while we talk. Yep, I don't care. I wanna talk about my trip. I haven't really, I like literally feel like I, <laughs> This is girlhood, I'm just talking while shaving my armpits, just whatever. But we're gonna do a little push day, I think, a little upper, so I need to shave my armpits. I'm at least glad that I caught that I have not shaved them in a while. The worst is when you're like shoulder pressing and you just look down. This past weekend, I went and I visited my best friend at her college in Savannah. They had the St. Patrick's Day parade there and it was the most fun that I've had in a very, very long time, okay? It was so, it was like the perfect trip because it was a good mix of we cooked food together, we went out to eat, we got drinks, we got a lot of drinks on Saturday. I just feel so complete. Like that trip feels so, I just did my whole podcast episode, I literally just uploaded it. I just filmed the whole thing on the benefits of breaks because it just made me really appreciate my routine. I woke up, so here's my thing with alcohol. I don't drink that much, honestly. Um, it's just not that realistic with my routine right now because I live at home. What am I gonna go to a bar alone? Like that's just not really something that I typically do. So I don't really drink that much. Um, I'm not gonna do that much makeup because I feel really cutie and natural, which has to do with the fact that I got a spray tan because I had one free spray tan left. So now guys, this is like, look how tan I look. Anyways, I got one free spray tan so I feel really confident. Yeah, I forgot what I was saying. I don't really drink that often and don't get me wrong, when it comes to a drink, I'm a habit. I think it's so fun when it has a time and a place. But as for just like recreationally drinking, I, it just, I don't, 
The way that it makes me feel the following days, it's just not worth it to me. I don't like it. And that makes me sad because I feel like everybody my age loves it so much. And I kind of, I don't want to say feel outcasted because that's dramatic. A part of me does kind of feel like, oh, am I supposed to be liking this? And I did used to really like it in times where I was really depressed and I was like binge drinking and smoking all the time. The reasons I liked it though were not because they were fun. It was because it made me not me. And I didn't like myself then. So I was looking for things to make myself not myself, right? So that makes sense. When I analyze that, that makes sense why I really liked drinking and smoking and things like that um, in high school. But as I grow into myself, I'm just, there's so much to do and I do enjoy it, but I just don't really see the benefits in it. But the reason I say all this, but I woke up at like 3 a.m. on Friday, I think, or Saturday, so anxious. So, like I genuinely felt like the world was ending. Horrible, awful. And in that moment, I remember thinking to myself, like, I cannot wait to be home and like hydrated and eating foods that make me feel good and like walking. And that sounds kind of dramatic and annoying. I understand that. But it truly made me appreciate my current routine. I think it takes periods of completely just going off the, not to, not to inspire you to just go off the rails, but I was given a situation where I was totally not in routine and it just really made me appreciate mine. And there was a period where I was a little bit insecure about how structured I am because some people People say that I'm like not balanced and that I it's not real what I do how I eat isn't realistic my routine isn't applicable to everyday people and it's like that's because we have different routines my routine isn't gonna be realistic to you because you're not me but my situation I live at home it, it this is how I live I share how I live and while that might not be applicable to everybody, I think it's valuable to see other people's perspectives and what they do day to day, right? And it's fun, hey, I love vlogging. But I was getting a little bit anxious that I was going too far down the self-improvement rabbit hole, if you will. But this past weekend really just showed me that the reason I do everything that I do is because it just makes me feel good. That is such, that might seem very obvious um, and not significant, but that is very significant to me because there were periods where, of course, like I said, I didn't want to feel good. I didn't think I deserved to feel good. And a lot of the habits that I did were to make me feel bad, right? Because I thought that that's what I deserved. And fully now I feel like I'm at this spot where I know that I deserve to feel good. So that's why I do everything I do. I love walking, not because it makes me look a certain way, but because it makes me feel good. And I, I, like the past version of myself would have been like, what do you mean it's not just to get lean? The, guys, the point of life isn't to be lean. It's fun. Being lean is so fun, don't get me wrong. But I'm just learning a lot more about how much I appreciate my routine because of how it makes me feel. And when I feel good, unfortunately, it makes me act better to people. Maybe I shouldn't say that, I don't know. I'm gonna moisturize, by the way, with the... This is the best lotion ever. But it just really helped me that that off time was so needed. So needed. I didn't track. I didn't do anything. It made me appreciate what I do day to day a lot more. And I wouldn't have had that had I had not taken the break. Which is why I did this whole podcast episode. Hey, I'm putting my leg up here. On. Okay, you just can't see me. I'm moisturizing my leg if you're missing a show. It made me even more excited to be home and to recenter and refocus. And that's not to imply that when you take time off, you have to get your shit together. Because you don't. You could literally go and realize that what you were doing was not sustainable right and that's equally as beneficial because if you can realize in time off that what you're doing is unsustainable you're able to catch it it just takes times being out of your routine to catch it so i'm just really glad that i had that trip but i love my friends so much and i truly feel like i'm a new i'm a phoenix out of the fucking ashes bitch and also a lot of this has to do with the fact that my friend is really good at hair out of breath this is my fit by the way she blew out my hair and i haven't like straightened my hair and i got that spray tan so I just feel like I'm literally an unstoppable person right now. This is from Lulu, this is from Define, by the way. But I haven't had my hair like blown out. I don't know if I'm gonna film in the gym or something. I don't really know. I have a bunch of videos to edit from my trip. So I'm probably gonna do that either on the stairs or on the treadmill. But I also don't wanna fuck up my hair. <sighs> Womenly struggles, right? Of like wanting to get a good work. Like, look at that. Guys, are you seeing that? What are we doing? I'm so excited to go to the gym. My gym crush better fucking be there. Okay, I just filled with this camera for so long. I think I fixed it from whatever the hell it was doing earlier. So thank God to that. But clearly some time has passed, okay? It is 7.51, okay? Basically to sum up my little day, my Monday, the gym was fun. It was kind of rushed. I didn't realize. I had therapy at 1.30 and I got to the gym at about 12 and I did a little back and chest. I don't usually train my chest, but I was just kind of feeling it and I've been really intentional about how I treat the gym 
when I returned back from vacation because I used to treat the first day like it was, I'd make it my leg day. And then what ended up happening is I put so much pressure on it. So something that's been really helpful is doing an upper day or like an ab day or something kind of just to ease my way back into it, you know? So that was my mindset going in there. And I did that, it was super fun. And then I just walked, I like inclined walked while I edited all my videos. Luckily all my vacation videos are up, but I checked the time, hey, it's one o'clock. Oh, oh, I live 25 minutes away from my gym. So I'm booking my ass to make it to therapy. And then I went to therapy, had some client calls and stuff. So now we're just chilling. I don't have much to say, but I just wanted to update you on my day because I know that I was like, I'm going to the gym, what am I gonna do? Well, I did that and I just did, for my back and chest, I just benched and did some rows and pull-ups and some dead hangs, which is where you like literally hang and it really helps with your grip strength. As you can see, I don't know if you can see that, you just can't. Ew, what, what is that? Okay, I have calluses as a motherfucker and that actually helps you with your grip strength, but just practicing those, which helps a bunch of things. And then tomorrow, me and my mommy are gonna hit legs together, which I'm really excited about because we haven't had a workout together in a while and she can film. And it will be a leg day and you will eat it up and you know what? I don't care, okay? To all the people who were like, you only film your leg workouts, that's the majority of my lifts. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I love this sweatshirt, guys. This is my dad's and it gave me Callaway Golf. I feel like red is one of the hottest colors anybody can wear, regardless of what your hair or skin tone is. I feel like it just looks beautiful on everybody. Everybody. And if you wear red around me, I'm barking and gnawing at the, what is it, at the bars of my enclosure. <laughs> Anyways, I'm so fucking tired. I'm not gonna lie. My feet hurt so bad. When we went to Savannah on Saturday, I think I checked we had like 20,000 steps because the parade, you're walking all over the place. And I was in my Air Forces because what other shoe? I mean, if I had to be a shoe, unfortunately, that's, like, that's actually an insult to myself. I rebuke that actually, as I'm saying it. I walked around in my Air Forces all day all day and i have to wear those too because like they're my party shoes i'm not gonna wear my on clouds and get them all dirty my feet hurt so it's just my right foot it literally feels like i sprained my ankle maybe i did i've never broken a bone besides i cracked my head open does that count does your skull count i don't know but i've never actually broken anything or like sprained anything i well my elbow actually I'm just lying. Hey, happy National Lie Day, starring Haley, featuring Haley. My foot just hurts so incredibly bad that I was like, I can't walking this morning. It, it hurts. So I might ice it. Does that help or does heat make it relax? I don't, I don't fucking, I should know the answer to that. But hopefully tomorrow, I'm gonna take some ibuprofen before I go to bed. Does that work? I don't know. Nurses, answer no. And then we're gonna see tomorrow, I'm gonna hit legs and I have some more client calls uh, and other little things. I definitely need to do a lot of schoolwork tomorrow because my classes are asynchronous. So the way that my program is set up is I do two classes for seven and a half weeks, which I think I like because it's very, 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 very fast paced, but it constantly feels like you're doing something different because your classes are only for seven and a half weeks, right? Is it seven and a half weeks of Satan's wrath? Maybe, but you know, at least you're switching it up routinely. Like what I, what I mean by that is my classes are asynchronous. I have all of the information and it's kind of up to me to do it on my own time. And while I really, really love that because it doesn't add a specific lecture that I have to be sat for, I need to prioritize it and it's hard for me sometimes. So tomorrow, I'm definitely gonna try to get a lot of schoolwork done. If not tomorrow, then definitely Wednesday. Like for real Wednesday, but I'm just so tired. I don't know if it's just, I'm usually in watch. I say this and I'm not gonna be able to go to bed. I've been struggling like getting to sleep, but I really am so tired. So I'm kind of grateful that I'm tired because sometimes it gets to like eight o'clock, whatever, and then I'm awake. What? But I've been more intentional about like my caffeine and stuff. And I think definitely getting more steps and more movement and getting back into routine has worn me out, but in a good way. You know what I'm saying? So I will see you whenever I see you probably sometime tomorrow. Tomorrow's the first day of spring. Yay, I'm excited. Okay. Hey, queens. Do you want to go outside? Like, why do you look like that? Sorry, I'm hungry. I don't mean to be mean to you. Anyways, because the, fuck, now Luna wants to go outside. Guys, you can't win. <sighs> it's the first day of spring and it's beautiful, gorgeous outside actually, so I don't blame them. Oh my God. I went on a walk this morning. I have so much to update you on. I feel like I haven't filmed in so long. So basically this morning I woke up, initially hated my life, was so like, woe is me, whatever girl. And I was so close to not going on my morning walk because it was cold and but whatever. Pushed myself to go on it. We're cooking by the way. Um, I'm making sweet potato fries. I don't know how to show like what I'm doing. I guess maybe I can film over here. I'm out of breath from quite literally walking two steps. Okay, health. I guess I'll just do it like this. Good enough, right? Anyways, I woke up, 
I just steamed these sweet potatoes and now I'm gonna dry them off before putting them in the air fryer. Life hack, I wanna talk to you though. Like, so I woke up, it felt like so garbo. And then I went on my walk, loved it, slayed. And I feel so much better now. But anyways, what was I talking about beforehand? I don't even remember what I was talking about. Oh, I got a spray tan and I did my hair. So now my pale journey is gonna feel so much harder because I know that I just look so much better when I'm tanner and like when my hair is actually done and not. Curly girls get it. It's such a bittersweet when people compliment your hair when it's straightened. I'm like, thank you so much. But deep down, I'm like, it's only because it's straightened and my natural hair is ugly. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that that's true. It's not, my natural hair is beautiful, but you get it. You know what I mean? Like it's, I always receive the most compliments when my hair is not natural. And there's that part of it that's like, oh, so this is the only time that I'm pretty. I'm just drying off these wedges that I kind of like halfway cooked in the microwave and then we're gonna air fry them. My mom, we're gonna go hit legs together. I'm meeting her at the gym at 2.30. It's 12.14. These are gonna take a good while to like cook in the air fryer. So I wanted to cook them like first. I'm just trying not to over analyze my mood because I, I saw this thing. I need to find out what it was. I need to find out what it was. This girl was posted like a screenshot to a Q and A where this celebrity or, or somebody significant had gotten a question that said, how do you how do you become confident? Like, what is your advice for girls who are insecure? And she said, I think some of y'all simply think about yourselves too much. Oh my God. I think that's the real, that changed my life truly. Cause I think we do, I think too much. I'm a chronic overthinker and it's the only way that I know how to be. And I'm trying to get out of the habit of always analyzing my mood. My poor therapist is probably like, girl, can you have another problem? Because I, every single week, she's like, what do you want to talk about? It's that. It's the fact that I wake up and the first thing on my mind is, actually, funny fact, the first thing on my mind every single morning, I, do you know the, um, what is it? America, is it American Dad? Good morning, USA. I assume that <laughs> that's the first thought in my brain every single morning. But after that, after my good morning, USA, I am thinking about how I feel. And if it's bad, my day, I don't know how to pivot from there. I mean, I do, I've been learning how to, but it's really hard. It's really hard. Okay, we're gonna season this now. I think I'm just gonna do some seasoning, salt, garlic powder. But yeah, I just, I'm always thinking so much. And while that's a beautiful thing, I'm grateful that I am so introspective. It's very debilitating at times because for example, this morning, had I not have done the right, I'm crooked. Had I not have done the quote unquote right thing and I would have just laid in bed and moped, my day today would have been just laying in bed and moping and I'm sure I would have had worse lift or like when me and my mom are about to go work out, I'd probably would be in a shitty mood just because I was in a shitty mood. And I'm also very spiritual. Ew, I don't even like saying that to where I consume a lot of content about how our human bodies are simply our vessels and like you can't always be thinking about, like your mood is, is always gonna change and like we're our souls, we're not our feelings. I can feel you rolling your eyes, but whatever, hold on. I just put them in the air fryer at 400 degrees. I, it says 15 minutes. I don't know how long I'm actually gonna do it for. I'm just trying really hard to find a balance in my analyzation because it is not that deep. I know it isn't. It really, there are people who I envy who just live their lives and they're not constantly thinking about their mood all the time. What? Hey, if you're one of those, you wanna swap brains, Frankenstein, I'm down, I'll be your, lobotomy like tribute is that what it did they do that what was the hunger games thing i only watched for what was that one guy the hot one <laughs> that's uh, i watched and for the new one for olivia rodriguez song which i did cry uh listening to so we're just gonna eat this i'll show you when it's all done i need to organize i might go on another walk because it's just so beautiful outside and i really have been loving walking i'm gonna be so honest though my foot my right foot i'm not gonna show it because what hurts so bad it hurts so bad i don't know i don't think i sprained it because i can still walk on it fine it just is painful i think just me being drunk i didn't really feel it in the moment but right when we got home i kind of snapped out of it and i was like holy shit my feet hurt but they it's it's tuesday and they my just my right foot hurts so bad so i don't know what to do about that it's really bothering me but we're just gonna ignore it if it's my mom said that if it still hurts after like a week then we know it's probably not just like a little bruised tissue and it's an actual like issue uh so i don't know what that is but i'm gonna eat this i have some chicken just cooked in the fridge for a little pre-leg day do some homework maybe walk bentley because it's just so beautiful gorgeous outside all the trees are blossoming and blooming 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 and i'm just like yes 
this is life, you know? Like who cares if I feel shitty in the process of experiencing that? Why would that matter? That doesn't take away from the beauty of the cherry blossoms. Do you know what I mean? The fact that I'm looking at my little like rake, rake? Hey, lake river thing outside my house and it's glistening gorgeous. Like, look at this guys. I am kind of, sometimes I get scared to share too much cause like what if somebody that one guy can like find your location, even if you give like nothing. First of all, do you hear the birdies? Yeah, good morning. But look, looking at that, I'm like, see, I'm looking at that, even if I'm depressed looking at that, I'm still looking at it, you know what I mean? The beautiful sunshine is a constant. It stays the beautiful sunshine no matter how I feel about it. So maybe I shouldn't be so fucking analytical all the time. It doesn't matter. Like my goals don't care, the nature doesn't care, so why do I care? You know? I'm in a weird fucking mood. Okay, maybe I'm about to start my period. I think I was getting some cramps earlier. Pray for me, I'll show you my dinner or my, my lunch. It's noon. Yeah, it's lunchtime. What? Just whatever. I'm gonna get it in the sunlight. It's, I am on the floor. Hey, these are my finished taters. They look like real good, right? With the, this is just some like fajita chicken that my mom prepped. I guess it looks better in like natural lighting. So amazing. I did the air fryer for like 15 minutes after cooking them in the microwave. Wow, I'm gonna eat this shit up with my bare hands and claws. Okay, I'm, I am a primate when I see something like this. And I have some like sugar-free ketchup on the side. You want to eat that. I know you do. All right, y'all. We're just getting ready for the gym now. I feel like, so alcohol dehydrates you, right? So sometimes like the morning after or the morning or two after waking up, I'll feel really lean actually, even after drinking. But I feel like I've officially like hit my hump of when the alcohol makes you feel bloated and disgusting. So that's great. Thank you so much. I'm wearing my, I'll show you later. Alcohol and me have such a weird relationship. So if you guys are familiar with my content, like you've watched my fitness journey and stuff, I used to drink a lot in high school and stuff and it was fun i suppose um i'm going in with this vaseline this is like cocoa butter focus on me and i use it and it's like shimmery and i love it anyways i drank a bunch in high school because it's like what everybody else did and i thought that if i didn't do that then i'd be the black sheep whatever i don't know how i did that i go to drink it's usually because i'm going to visit my friends or it's like someone's birthday or something like that like it's for an event which i think is totally okay i don't drink besides that and as much as i wish so badly a part of me kind of that i liked it i, I don't think i really here's the thing and this is not to promote drinking okay i'm not trying to tell anybody to go to the i love being drunk i truly i do i love the being drunk but i just get so anxious afterwards and like the way that it makes me feel in the days following and what it does in terms of like my productivity I just, I have a lot required of me in terms of like my coaching, my classes right now. They're seven and a half weeks, so they're very consolidated. And I have to make sure that I'm actively doing something in terms of my coaching, my school, and my social media every single day. I don't, and my work, like I, I don't have room to be hung over and over a toilet. I just don't have time for that. And it kind of makes me sad because like I guess I love being drunk. I, I really do. I, <laughs> Sorry, that's not to promote that. The process of it can suck sometimes. It's also with my fitness goals, it's just not aligned with my fitness goals and that not everything has to be, like don't get me wrong. I don't need alcohol to have fun, but it does make me more social. And I do have this weird thing where I feel like I'm so awkward and it does help me loosen up and just connect with people. And I love a lot of the activities that alcohol is like centered around. So then I feel kind of bad for myself for not like, ooh, hey, for not drinking more because it's what like everybody my age does is they go out and drink so i'm like should i be doing that but then i do it and i feel horrible and i'm like okay maybe i shouldn't do that societally pretty much every plan ever is around alcohol in some way like this summer whenever my friends want to do something fun it's revolved drinking and that's nothing wrong with that because again i'm going and i'm taking many shots like it's not that i'm i won't do it i just don't know where i stand with that because i don't know i think it's just like a whole moderation thing i guess where yeah i don't really i don't strive for it in my day-to-day -day life if i'm going to an event or something like i'll drink but it just i don't know as i'm getting older i look back on the times especially in high school where i was drinking like five nights a week blacking out and i'm like how the actual fuck was i a human functioning human and i guess now that i think about it i wasn't one i was fully just not a human being at all i was so not myself and i feel like i'm in a routine and like even this past weekend i don't know if i've said this on here but i woke up at like 3 a.m and i was the most anxious i'd ever been like ever and it just made me think about how much i don't like feeling that way and it made me appreciate my sobriety it's not like that but like not drinking you know even more so and i was like oh my god i cannot wait to get home and just like eat the food that makes me feel good and drink water and like not 
feel this way. But there is a part of me that's a little bit sad that I'm a 21 year old and that's not something that I want to do all the time. Even though from a health perspective, I understand that drinking is not good for you. Your liver does not love that. I'm not against drinking at all. Again, like I think it's so fun. It just, it's not really worth it to me anymore. And it's been hard to navigate because a lot of the things that I want to do involve that, to have fun. And yes, I can have fun without alcohol. I'm not saying I depend on it, but it really does help. It helps a lot. So now what, you know what I mean? I don't even know, honestly, this is the benefit like brow wax. I don't know if there's really has ever been any product in this. I feel like it doesn't really work, but I spent like 20 fucking dollars on it. So I'm just kind of telling myself that it does. I don't really know. I usually use clear mascara and I feel like that works so much better and it's so much cheaper. This is the finished makeup, I think the usual. And then I'm gonna just put some lotion on. Oh, this is the best lotion. You guys know I'm putting it on my legs cause my legs are dry and not shaved, but I don't really care. Even with my tan, my spray tan. Already looks 20,000 times better. I cannot wait to really be tan for real and not have it like fall off. My hair, I'm probably just gonna leave it down and then we'll clip it up when we get there. Shorts and top are defined, code Haley C. Please look at this. I was like, last night I was showering, I was like, what is that? Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, forgot that I got a tramp stamp of a, <laughs> a shamrock. Okay, girl. So that's how my weekend went, but that's kind of the finished vibe there. I'm, I think I'm gonna put on my, God, I look so good in blue. Like, I look so good in blue, dude. Anyways, I'm gonna wear my, oh, I'm gonna put some dry shampoo on my hair, actually. My gray jacket, I think. It's giving, like, Dallas Cowboy. No, it's not giving that. Honestly, I don't feel greatest ever, but I need to stop thinking about that, because it, it, who the fuck cares, you know? And yes, my picture wall is still slowly deteriorating, and uh, no words for that. I'm so excited to go to the gym. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> Focus, girl, fill your ice trays. I'm putting some ice in here. You can't see what I'm doing, but you can hear it, whatever. I'm debating on doing caffeine just because it's like two o'clock. Um, I'm doing a scoop of the pump surge. Code Haley Legion products, you guys know the vibes, except this is so, always, always so messy. But I'm really, really excited to hit glutes. First glute day back, I'm not putting any crazy pressure on it. It just feels good, honestly. Going without movement, the best part isn't moving just because like, oh, you gotta make use of the carbs. No, it's because I genuinely, taking time off, I crave the movement. You know what I mean? So we're gonna just mix everything. I don't care. I'm doing a scoop of this stem-free strawberry kiwi. My dad is coming upstairs. Hey. Speak, huh? I'm filming. Can someone say hey? Sorry, hey. No. <laughs> hey. Sorry to interrupt. You're not interrupting, King. So I'm doing a scoop of this, and then I'm gonna do a scoop of the other stem-free, which is blue raspberry. I like their stem free. I can't explain that. I'm a caffeine girl, but for whatever reason, this helps me tingle better. I don't know what that means. My dad is making his Chick-fil-A goodie basket. Eat healthy. Eat healthy. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna do a scoop of that, a scoop of that. And then I think actually I am gonna do a scoop of the strawberry margarita. That's disgusting. It is, I don't care. My dogs, whenever my dad comes upstairs, they, <laughs> they're like waiting vultures for his because he gives them cheats. Um, if you're a vet, don't block me. I know it's probably not the best for them. Tell it to him, cause he won't listen to me. So I'm literally mixing all of the flavors. I don't care. That's our potion for today. You have anything you want to tell the people, Father? No, thank you. Say hey. Let me get my pinto beans. Pinto. Oh no, garbanzo, not pinto. Uh, garbanzo, yes. It's garbanzo beans, carrots, craisins. And so cheese cheddar. and his Chick-fil-A salads. This is my life every single day at 1 to 3 p.m. It varies because sometimes he goes earlier or later. If you ever want to know what my house looks like during this time of the day, any day except Sunday, it's that. <laughs> Leave to meet my mom at 2.30. She'll record me, hopefully. I'm kind of emo though. She's going to, um, or I, don't, I guess I shouldn't say where, but she's going, she's changing her travel nursing assignment. So she's not going to be home anymore. So I'm not going to have anywhere to record my workouts. Womp womp. I'll have to befriend a gym somebody to do that. Looks so pretty. <laughs> I mean, hello. Oh, shit. Come on. <laughs> Come on, like. I'll see you at the gym. <laughs>
Can we get a sound check? Gang, gang, gang. We got our pump check. Whew. And yes, the jacket is back on, okay. But, guys, the pump or the bulk kind of did what the bulk had to do. This is y'all sign to fucking eat your damn food, okay? Have your, this should be an ad for refried beans. <laughs> an ad for fucking potatoes. I have my cinnamon roll socks on for hypertrophy, y'all. Come on, Miss Girl. Come on, Miss Girl. I'm very pleased. Honestly, energy-wise, asked my mom to film me. I forgot, I forgot that I have a tramp. From St. Patrick's Day. Um, hey, that's a jump scare. I don't even remember getting that. So fun. That was really good. I feel good. I'm gonna probably walk for a little bit and then edit, and then I have a client at five. It's only four o'clock, so. I got some time, but I thought I would check in. That was a really good leg day. I feel good. My foot still hurts like a bitch, but honestly, whatever. I mean, picking my battles here, and at least I don't have legs for another, like, two days. <laughs> Working out was a privilege, I'm grateful, but that was really hard mentally, but at least we did it and we looked good doing so. I don't mean to sound very egotistical and conceited. I feel like I've been saying that very frequently and I don't wanna come across that way. I'm just very proud of myself. And I verbalize that even with, <laughs> I say it out loud even without a camera. So I'm just talking. I promise I'm not full of myself. I'm very much not special and I know that, okay? But I'm just proud and you're allowed to be proud. All right, crew, happy Wednesday. It is such a pretty, I feel like, okay, my content is probably so repetitive. I'm always saying how pretty it is outside, how good slash horrible I feel. It's quite literally one or the other, and my mood, and that's it, whatever. But it's such a fucking beautiful day, okay? I, I was doing my homework, I woke up at seven o'clock this morning. I'll explain what I'm doing in a second, just whatever. Woke up at seven, can I, I've, yeah. I have so, so, okay much homework to do so much homework that i just mm, when it comes to <laughs> everyone's like oh my god you're so organized and like girl boss yeah in everything that's not school when it comes to school i'm very academically driven to where like i have to get all a's yes but if i have an assignment oh but i have to actually go to the gym right now <laughs> the gym it just oh my god in terms of priorities guys it's fucked it's fucked that's what it is so i have so much homework to catch up on on this weekend i'm dog sitting and I, I need to make sure that i don't waste time because i waste time so i woke up i was doing homework literally all morning it's 11 30. i had a client call at 10 o'clock and now we're gonna go let out huckley i'm so excited i haven't seen him in like I, what feels like forever you guys know i dog sit for him sometimes i just like let him out because his parents his parents yeah i guess his parents um <laughs> why does that remind me of like zootopia 
shut up. Okay. It's just a nice day. I just got vitamin D high is what this whole interaction is here. His parents like work like nine to five. So like in the middle of the day, I need someone to let them out. I love dogs. I love letting out things and going on drives. Hey, I'm here. Shake your hand. I'm just backing up. I'm not driving on the road and vlogging, okay? I'm gonna go let him out and then afterwards. Today's my rest day. I'm not going to the gym today because I need to do homework. I fear I'm dedicating today to that, but I did want to take a break because I've been doing fucking my two classes, guys, are Aging in the Life course, which I've been loving, and then Human Sexuality, which is really, really interesting to me. I think it's really cool to learn about how, as humans, how we've navigated sexuality throughout the years. Like, one of the coolest things to me, obviously, it's not cool in the sense that I wish people could just express themselves freely, but I mean, I think it's so interesting how historically there's signs of homosexual stuff, like in cave paintings. I think that's just so interesting to learn about how we express ourselves. I don't know. It's really cool, but it's a lot of reading and, and work. I had like four lectures this morning to watch because it's all asynchronous, but then I had like books plural to read. I mean, they're short books and short stories. And then I have to write papers. So my brain's mush. So I want to spend the apex of today outside and it's 1130. So when we get back, I think I'm going to go for a run. Trigger warning hybrid athlete attempt, but it's fun. It's fun. And if you're going to, if you're listening to this and you're like, doesn't your foot hurt a little bit slowly, it's a little better than yesterday. And I'm not going to like do anything strenuous on it. I'm obviously not going to like just David Goggins push through like a fucking sprained foot. Hey, let's sit down. Right. I'm never going to like do that, but I just want to move. And so we'll go on a walk at least. And then if I want to run, I guess I'll run. That's going to depend solely on my caffeine intake. Thank you. Legion code Haley. Okay. Um, but let's just go. I don't want to drive and film because safety. Where's Kitty? Hi. It's been too long, hi babies. Hi, so handsome. It is, okay, <laughs> how pretty it is, jump scare. Getting the shades, the camera quality, is that better? It's not, but just know that it's a pretty day. It's a little bit windy, cold, and I'm not a runner to where it's like, if I'm gonna run outside, aren't you supposed to dress as if, what, isn't there like a rule that you're supposed to dress for like 10 degrees colder because you heat up or something? I don't know, I always judge that wrong and I'm either dripping in sweat or numb in the hands. So great, what do we do, like what now? Probably gonna get a little bit warmer, but it's so, when you get out in the sun. Oh my God, okay. I just wanna eat the sun with a spoon and fork. What does that mean, girl? I'll probably see you next when I'm running of some sort. I'm kind of scared for what that will persist or consist of. I mix up my words a lot. I sound really smart and then I like will watch things back and I'm like, girl, that was just the wrong word. But at least we're trying, you know, it counts. All right, my poor planning has struck again. I brought my jacket. I don't know if you can kind of like see, it's my not my jacket, it's my mom's jacket, but it's that material. It's kind of like, I feel like you know what I'm talking about. That against bare skin, it makes you sweat. So I started because it's kind of chilly and it's very, very windy out. Side. I'm like 10 minutes in and now I'm holding it and now I can't like function like I want to whatever girl you live and you learn But this walk has been so nice. I think I've been walking. I don't even know for how long I really don't I think like an hour. I don't know. It's just so gorgeous I feel guilty for going back inside because it's such a pretty day and I know it's supposed to rain this weekend So I'm trying to really capitalize off of vitamin D maxing. Is that a thing? I don't know. Just the trees are so pretty every I feel like nature is so out today Nature is just, there's so many little animals and shit, y'all. I sound like fucking Snow White, okay? Just block me. I did, I, hey, I tried running. I did like, I would go, well, one thing I found actually very helpful if I were more able-bodied, if you will, in the moment, because my foot hurts so fucking bad, but I ran like a few spouts just in between stop signs, because I, I, this neighborhood that I walk in, okay, I'm actually in Dorothy's tornado right now, so I hope it's not too loud and windy. Damn. Anyways, it's bright. Hold on, wait, it's really bright. Is this better or worse? I don't know if that's better or worse. Better or worse? I feel like the camera quality is so clear right now. Okay! Anyways, I know this neighborhood layout pretty well, so I just would jog, not even run. Like that sounds so much cooler than it actually was and probably prettier in theory. But I would just jog in between stop signs and then I'd walk and then I'd jog in between stop signs and then I'd walk. Great, I did that like three or four times. Very, very chill, nothing crazy. My foot started to hurt, so I just start, I just like stayed with walking. In the future, I feel like it's very helpful doing spouts like that. If it's when I'm not hurting, I'll try that. Because it feels so beautiful outside. It's so gorgeous. And then I'm gonna go back home. I think I'm actually literally gonna turn around right now. Hey. Okay, maybe not because now it's bright as fuck. My arm hurts from holding the camera. Okay, biceps. Okay, better. Oh my god, there's robins in the grass right now. <sighs> like, I want to be a robin so bad. What, if you had to be a bird, what bird would you be? I don't think I'd be a robin. They just are what I'm looking at right now, but I feel like I want to be a snow owl. Those things are fucking sick because they're so camouflaged and like pretty and they're badass and scary. 
That's what I want to be. I don't know what the hell's going on. There's bluebells and the grass and my arm is starting to cramp. Hey, finish up this walk, go finish all my fucking homework and then I'll see you whenever I see you. I don't know when that will be though. That's gonna wrap up this week's vlog, y'all. It is currently Saturday. <laughs> I'm right now, I'm dog sitting for one of my good friends, um, her cutie dog, Emma. We've been spending the weekend together. I watch her until Wednesday, super cute. But I am quite literally pooped these past few days. I've been, me and one of the trainers at my gym have been working out together and like it puts me through the ringer in such a good way. I'm really proud of myself for working out with people because I don't usually do that and it really has been helpful. But I am so tired. Like my body hurt in a sore way, which is nice. I think it's just getting back in routine, but I feel like I'm so unorganized right now and I already can prematurely feel so much pressure on tomorrow because tomorrow is Sunday while I'm filming this. That Sunday has to be my reset moment. No, it doesn't need to be that way. It's just a day. Sunday is just a day. Hey, whoever made a calendar, just put it there. Who did that? Isn't it the Sumerians? Is that how that sound offensive? I, I'm uneducated. I'm uneducated there. Okay, thank you, but I'm going to go the fuck to bed, but thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. You mean so much to me, and I really appreciate your support recently. It does truly mean the world, and I just want you to know that always. That's all I got. I really don't have thoughts right now. I feel like I'm not a person, so I'm gonna go take some NyQuil <laughs> and go to bed. Um, hit my ass, what, hit my ass in the hay? I don't know what that means. I had two margaritas today. Thank you, I, this whole video was about how I didn't like alcohol. Oh, so I actually had a double shot of, okay. All right, well anyways, I love you so much. Thank you for watching and go get big.